Greetings from the Kenyan teacher. It is our pleasure to present 2019 KCSE Chemistry Paper 2, question number 7. Question 7 tested our candidates on the understanding of reaction rates, diffusion, and solvent extraction. First question. What is meant by rate over reaction? Rate over reaction is simply a measure of how much of reactants, how much of reactants are consumed, or it can also be how much products are formed per unit time. So the marking point here is per unit time for the one mark. To part B, we are told that in the spaces provided or in the space provided, sketch the diagram of a setup that can be used to determine the rate of a reaction between manganese 4 oxide and hydrogen peroxide. So these two reagents, our students, you realize they are able to give us oxygen gas as discussed in Form 1. So this section wanted us to draw a setup that can be used to measure the rate of production of oxygen gas. So I had drawn the setup. What remains is now for us to label. So here I have a mixture of our reactants and that is manganese, uh, manganese 4 oxide and uh, my hydrogen peroxide. Then I have decided to use a syringe as my method of collection for the gas, though you can also think of other available uh, methods that can be used to collect oxygen. And the most important piece of apparatus that I have is a clock. I must be able to time how much volume of oxygen am I able to produce per unit time? So the apparatus that will enable me measure time must also be drawn alongside the setup. So this was awarded three marks as follows. The drawing of the clock or any means through which you could measure time would give you the first mark. Two, method of collecting the gas. For my case, I've used a syringe, the next mark. And thirdly, we looked at workability of your setup. Workability has to answer the question, is your setup able to produce any gas? So if, for example, your generator here, the generator of the gas, I'm using a round-bottomed flask. Some students sometimes draw these using broken lines. So if your generator has broken lines, it means that your flask in reality is also broken. And for that matter, chances of you collecting any gas is zero. So for such cases, we deny the mark on workability. Again, there are some students who completely close the delivery tube here using a cock that is not having any space through which the gas can pass. Again, if you have such kind of situations, then workability is awarded zero. If the siring is not graduated, for example, again, you will not be able to measure the volume. And for that matter, we would also deny you the mark on workability.
Now to question part C. This tested on diffusion. So, a student placed a small amount of liquid bromine at the bottom of a sealed gas jar of air as shown in figure 4. So we have a sealed gas jar that has bromine liquid and some air column. The examiner is asking, describe what will be observed after two minutes. So we know that bromine is having several shades of colors. Bromine actually has different shades of colors depending on concentration. So for the first two minutes, we expect to observe either red or brown color, which of course are bromine fumes. So we expect red or brown color to form just, just above the liquid bromine. This is the expected observation after just two minutes. This is a very short time after setting up the experiment and therefore the red or brown color would not go far. It will just be above the liquid bromine. After 30 minutes, however, we expect now yellow or brown color to spread to spread in the whole jar again because of concentration we may now expect to see yellow because as it spreads the concentration now will be kind of uh, less as compared to when we were at two minutes so each of these observations would give us a half a mark. We are now asked, we are now asked to use the kinetic theory to explain the observations after two minutes. So the explanation here after two minutes is that bromine liquid, bromine liquid changes to gaseous state. That would be the best explanation as per the kinetic theory as to why we are able to get brown color just above the bromine liquid after two minutes. For 30 minutes, the explanation in terms of kinetic theory would be that bromine molecules diffuse Bromine molecules diffuse through air. Or a student would have, the, would, would have the option of saying that bromine molecules spread into the air. To part D, this one now tested on solvent extraction. And we are asked that some plants have seeds that contain vegetable oil. Describe how the oil can be obtained from the seeds. This is a question that we have answered more than once. So crush for one mark the seeds. Of course, in a mortar, and we are using a pestle. Once we have done that, we are supposed to add ethanol. A student had an option of mentioning any other suitable solvent. Add for half a mark and we continue crushing. After that, we are supposed to decant or filter. into an evaporating dish. We are not specifying what we are filtering or decanting to avoid wrong commitment. So decant or filter the next half a mark. So once we have 
some liquid or some mixture in the evaporating dish the solvent the solvent is evaporated evaporating the solvent next after mark and then we leave behind we leave behind the oil so leaving oil behind the last half a mark for a total of three marks. Last question is asking us to explain how we can confirm the identity that the liquid obtained from the seeds is oil. So here, liquid obtained after evaporation is placed we place it on a piece of paper this process of placing it on a piece of paper gives you the first half a mark and then writing now the expected observation that if it leaves a permanent if it leaves a permanent translucent translucent mark on the paper then it proves it is oil so permanent translucent mark the next half a mark totaling to one mark we thank you for your time we wish you all the best in your revision and keep it the kenyan teacher